Good day and welcome to Zambales Realty. And today we have this rare opportunity to feature this 600 hectare property here in Botolan, Zambales. So come and join us as we show you around this remarkable and stunning property with its size and with its location right here on our channel. I'm Darren Nava from Zambales Realty and I'm happy to meet you on our channel where I'm introducing you to the best properties for sale in Zambales. Zambales is known for its natural wonders but it is also a place where commercial and social activities never stop be it summer or rainy season. Is that all? Absolutely not but it's time for now to see our today's offer. So enjoy this beautiful view and I'll see you on the other side. Good morning everyone, we are here in Botolan, Zambales. So I left along the Po City at around 3 a.m. in the morning. And right now it's about 6 o'clock in the morning here in Botolan. So we are preparing our vehicle to visit this 572 hectares. I repeat, this is a 572 hectare property located in Botolan, Zambales. So we're just preparing our 4x4 and right now we are, we are driving on our way to the property. So at first, we will be enjoying this pavement or cemented road but later on, we will experience a more challenging terrain, a bumpy ride. So if, if you're into this kind of property, stay tuned guys and, and, and let, me, let, me exp let, let me show you how amazing Zambales is. You know, by, by showing you the view on the way to the property, it has so much amazing views to offer to you. And I will tell you now guys, the property is not located along the road or along the highway or that uh, fancy barangay road. No, it is not located on those area. You will go through, you, you will be crossing technically rivers about a foot or uh, two, feet, uh, two feet rivers. And also you will be crossing a lot of lahar or sands and you will be crossing tall grasses. And these are the locals here. So, yeah, the, the, the travel is about 45 minutes to an hour with the 4x4 vehicle. And here's our driver that will be guiding us to the property. So it's a 4x4 vehicle, it has two shifters. So I normally do drive automatic property automatic vehicle so this is new to me and this is my first experience on riding 4x4 vehicle in off-road Normally, we get used to showing you properties located just along the road or just the beachfront properties but this one is entirely a different and a whole new level for us. So there are two things to enjoy going to this property. First, this is a rare listing, a very rare opportunity to have this kind of listing with its unique size, its, its massive, its expansive size of 572 hectares. Not all day or not every day you can find a property like that. So this is something special and unique. And another one is the is that the view. Okay, here we'll just enjoy the process. We'll just enjoy the ride, the travel, the, and the journey. Anyway, this is the travel is rough, especially when you're on the on the location proper. But it is a lot less stressful because of the views of the rural area of the Botolan Zambales it's about 95% full of nature just trees 
you, you, you will only hear the sounds of the air, fresh air. So for me, the, it's like having the best, the best day of my real estate experience because yeah, you get to have this kind of adventure. Now we are entering the off-road area. This is still going to the property. It's still not part of the property, it's just the way to the property. And though you might see it as off-road, but it's still not off-road yet. We're just getting to the exciting part. And on this video, I can still I can still stand and smile but later on. Oh my god. It will drain the energy out of your body. So I, I, I just wish I I could have bring my extra shirt. Going to going to the property because I am excessively sweating, so that that's my problem being a a, a vlogger and at the same time the, the one who sells property. So yeah, this is our view. So this river leads to the beach of Motolan Zambales. Okay, so we will show you going to the property. So this is. This is about 10%. We are about 10% on our way to the location. So our first river cross, it's still not that deep. And th there are communities here. There are communities here. Uh, their mode of transport is either by tricycle or motorcycle in which they, they modify their motorcycle into off-road type. So they just they change the tires for the traction. So here we are, our first river crossed. Okay, you, you, you can you can hear the power of of this Daihatsu Ferosa 16 valve 4x4 vehicle, old but gold. Oh. All right, a successful river cross. So I, I I never thought having this kind of adventure. Uh, by the way, this portion is brought to us by Cobra Energy Drink. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's our driver drinking an energy drink by Cobra. So because this is a bit more challenging in this area. So yeah, this is Lahar, this is the sandy part. So we will we will show you all the good side and bad side. Anyway, I can recall a, a certain quotations, quotes that difficult roads leads to good places and this is a testament to that our second river cross again a successful one so it's a bit more bumpy here And the more we get closer to the property, the more it gets harder to go. And these are the livestock here in Motolan Zambales. There's a lot of cows that can make more corn beef for us. Alright. Yeah, amazing view. Mountain view is your backdrop. And still this major majority of the properties here are flat. So just to describe you and give you an idea about this 572 hectare property, generally about 95% of that property or 90% of that property is flatland and cultivated. So it has uh, vegetations there, 
they, they, they grow eggplants there they grew chilies they also have papaya banana trees uh, that they harvest it um, from time to time and they also have fish pond on that property and we are lucky to have this day as you can see it's sunny and normally at this season it's it, it always rains in Zambales when it's raining in Zambales yeah and the grass are much greener and and the the air here is fresh i wish you can you can come here you can visit this area just this area even without going to the property Batolan has so many secrets that it has to unfold. That 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 natural secrets, that natural wonders. This province has a number of potentials, especially when it comes to nature parks like the Kamka Inumayan. If you are familiar with that, so that part of the property is also a riverfront property, wherein they accommodate guests. They build um, cottages near to the river, so the, the, the feeling is very natural and one with nature. So where we are now? I believe we are more than halfway to the property, so I wish you can spare me this time. Bear with me. Uh, just a little bit patience. We'll get there. Please don't fast forward as you don't have the opportunity to view such majestic and panoramic views of the mountains and the nature here in Batol and Zambales. By the way, some portions of the 572 hectare property is on, ha, ha, has a mountain. So, 90% of the property is flat and the remaining 10% are part of the mountains and part of the Zambale Starlock Road. So, we, we better watch out that, that part of the property because that's one pretty amazing, isn't it? Imagine your you're on the roadside but by the way that Zambales Tarlac Road is currently under construction when it's done and the, and the property is near there so definitely the, the valuation of the property or that that portion of the property will will get higher valuation once the roadways or the highway of the Zambales Tarlac Road is done and finished and here we are here's the beginning of the 572 hectare property We'll just stop over at the house of the caretaker. And here's our 4x4 four four is still alive and kicking. And, today we have this and right after we arrive at the base camp, just kidding, right after we arrive at the start point of the 572 hectares, so we just um, shoot some intro for our video because we are excited to Good day and have to this uh, video Real extra special. And today we are so here I include the clip so to have this, this can be considered to also as a BTS or behind the scenes for my vlogs and how we do things. So there, there you have it. It's all impromptu without a script. Good day, this is and we Nava made so Zambales many takes. TLT. And today our GoPro is about 30% on that on that time property, and we're about right to shoot a 600 channel. or I'm sorry a 572 so hectare this, property um, sige, by the way guys for clarification so the size of the property we, is 572 so square meter uh, I mean I'm sorry the size of the property, property is 572 hectares in Zambales, so Realty. why uh, why am I always saying on the video it's a 600 hectare because Hi, I'm Darren Nava from Zambales, on the first time I heard about this property the, Zambales, the, the, the caretaker is, is telling me that it is so a 600 hectare but upon verification with a title this because this property park, is secured with land title the absolute area, proof so of ownership you know you know what I'm saying so when I go through over the, the land the title bathroom. and I add so this this portion of the property is about 167 
or 165, 167 hectare on this portion of the property that is cultivated and the other part is 400 plus property, 400 hectare property. So to add that, it's about 572 hectare property combined. So just a clarification. Again, that's the importance of having due diligence or having an expert to see the documents, whether it is clean or not like this one so we get to clarify also with the owner we have direct communications with the owner who is uh, in overseas but willing to return to the philippines when it comes to negotiations or selling process of this property so going back so in this area this this 167 hectare property is highly cultivated we will show you on the video the different plants and variety of root crops planted here so on this on this area we have the the, the rice the rice fields near to the residence of the caretaker of the property so they have a nice nipa hut they also have a guest room in here they the caretaker have a big nipa hut and those other two separate nipa huts are for the guest imagine that and when i was inside on that nipa hut while having our lunch it's a lot cooler way way cooler than a cemented house so here's the dove so they, they have a lot of pets. They have pigs, they have chicken, they have turkeys, and they have doves, which adds life to the to the farm, to the all, already lively farm. You know? So right now, me and Nana, we are going to the pond area. So they have ponds here where they where they can catch fish like a tilapia a local fish here in the philippines it's the counterpart of what they call that cream dory in vietnam or in thailand yeah that that's our local fish here and then you can also catch electric eels there which i think it's a, a cuisine or a japanese cuisine or in the fine dines it's, it's yummy so it's about a three minute walk from the from the house to the to the fish pond and you have this amazing view generally they are they are flat the topography here is flat on this side of the property so you have plenty of trees a number of trees we have root bearing trees we have pine trees over there so there are bushes everywhere but once this is developed or cultivated or landscape if you can if you can landscape a 572 hectare property but it, it definitely has to be a budget for that right here th those grass are quite itchy especially when you're sweating and it scratches your arm oh here here we are this is the lake or the pond whatever you call that so that that pond was formed due to the accumulation of the water from the mountains downstream to that uh, low low-lying area it's 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 the shape of the bowl according to the caretaker so also maybe perhaps it has a natural spring underground that's why it never lost or it never get dried up and there are plenty of fish here so this is a wide fish pond natural fish pond if I estimate it's about uh, 1,000 square meter fish pond there the, the water seems clear it just seems murky because a while ago there there are caravels here that walks that, 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 that cross this this side of the uh, the path or the the trail and there's our lovely tree this one is perfect if you can put up a uh, floating floating nipa here yeah floating resto use this tree as your foundation or may maybe a tree house on a pond that's a lot nicer and unique isn't it so in this area the caretakers or should i say the, the farmer who is the caretaker uh, at the same time this property can gather can, can gather a fish different kinds of fish freshwater fish for their daily consumption 
So definitely there are a lot of fish in here, especially tilapia. Because recently, uh, according to them, DNR gave them siblings, si siblings. What do you call it? The small fish. Yeah, I forgot the term. But but those those small fish, small eggs of the fish, uh, the, the the tilapia fish, they put it in there. So we will now proceed to the other part of the property, which has a eggplant eggplant plantation. So, and tapioca. Okay, let's see which will come first. If it is the eggplant or the tapioca farm. So this is this part is a bit uphill and when you go and when you went uphill so the land is generally once flat again still bushy here you know you, you should understand guys this is a massive property to cover for a vlog it took us around a whole day you know I was traveling at in Olongapu, at Olongapu City, but I left Olongapu City at 3 a.m. And now this is about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Imagine the travel. So it, it, it would take us a whole day. These are the tapioca. Yeah. The camote or the, the sweet potatoes. The one on your right. That's that's a tapioca. It's 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 similar. It looks similar with the with the marijuana, yeah, leaves. But this one is, is carb. Yeah, yeah you, you can differentiate. Yeah, that that's a whole lot of camote and kahoy or tapioca. Correct me if I'm wrong with my term, but as far as I know, these are camote. Yeah, I love kamote, especially when they do it like a kamote chips or kamote cube. Oh my god. Especially as an athlete, I, I love kamote mm, banana for my proteins and carbs. So those are my diet, especially when I was running in Sierra Madre for my trail run. I, used, I, I get used to that diet. So there's a lot, there's a tons of harvest here. So what's good about this property, meaning is that if there are, if there are vegetations here like eggplants and camote, so definitely there are income. This is income generating, which is practical. So we will hunt now eggplants. Okay, I got you now, eggplant. You are mine. Take me to your leader. So at first I was shy to take a pick but when I see Nanai doing the picking things so I also pick one for me and two yeah <laughs> that's the f farm fresh harvest eggplant how good is that you know when when planting plants like this like eggplant or planting crops it's like growing your own money and also in in a setting in a setup like this in a location like this where it would take you miles away and river cross to go to the public market so it is very ingenious and practical to plant your food like this one they have plenty of options they have the camote they have fish they have eggplants so by the way if you 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 may ask that there's only about three or four people here li living in this area as a caretaker they, they are family j just to clear so why are they planting this much of vegetation of this much of crops of camote of of plantations because there are farmers here who come and buy those 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 fruits those those harvests those eggplants so those farmers come here with a carabao and a carrier so they, they harvest it they of course they negotiate how much per kilo of eggplants and everything and also here while having a chat with the caretaker they do crop rotation 
there are times they plant sa akin po, eggplant, ay, they plant butik. nuts, <laughs> they plant squash, as, and also watermelon. <laughs> they plant watermelon and other root crops. That is endemic in Zambales. Alright, so which part are we? So the, there's the mountain. The, the property reaches to the foot of that mountain. You know, when you own a 572 hectare property, so it covers almost all the the land that your eyes can see. Literally, when you have this much of the property, this 572 hectare property, everything that you can see is yours, or I mean, belongs to the owner of that 572 hectares, whose name is uh, in the title yes anyway okay we are now on the other part so here they are they planted tomatoes yeah local tomatoes it's like the size of the they call that citrus calamansi yeah because it's local I will show you. Here's the baby plant, baby tomato plant. Yeah. In just about uh, four weeks, it is ready to to bear fruits. And we have another mountain view here. So this property is is very much perfect for those um, owners. I mean, co corporations who who wants to have a plantation. Or private individual who wants to own a piece of hacienda or a piece of paradise. This definitely, in all areas of this property, of these 572 properties, you have unlimited options of views and backdrops, whichever you like. And then here is the part where we have a small brooks or stream. And we have a resting place here and a water source. It's a drinking drinkable water. And that small hill is also a part of the 167 hectare property. Once again, we are not we, we are not talking about square meters here. We are now talking about by the hectares, hundreds of hectares. So we you have a natural irrigation here through the Brooks system. Yeah, the small water river like. So it's lunchtime. We have sardine and the fresh eggplants we harvest from the farm. <laughs> Come on, let's eat. Once again, a view from the house of the caretaker. Here are the rice farm. So by next month, these are ready for harvesting. So we're going now to the 400 hectare property. We're done with the first part of the 100 hectare property, which we previously showed you. Now with our 4x4, four four, since 2x4 cannot cannot cross over the trails here in in this part of Batol and Zambales. We are now on the way to the 400 hectare property, and this road or this land is still part of the 100 hectare property. You see how wide it is. I wonder how we manage to put up a vlog for this massive property. It would take us a whole week if we, if we just walk around. So it is better. It is a better option to ride a four x four wheels. The view here, the beautiful views here, are unlimited. Now, while going to the property, let me discuss with you the pros and cons of having a massive property like this. So first, you have an unlimited view. Of course, a seemingly and obviously unlimited piece of land where you can put up a house anywhere because it's yours and it's titled at the same time. Now, the, the contrary is that 
Of course, the annual taxes for this piece of land. This massive 572 hectare property definitely has a chunk of tax annually. And also the maintenance. So you can see that is why only the 100 hectares is highly cultivated. But also the, the, the part of the 400 hectares is also developed. We will meet the caretaker later there and see how, how he take care of the property. And once again, we would like to thank the owner for allowing us to visit her property and choosing Zambales Realty, the leading realty and real estate company in Zambales. Thank you very much, ma'am. And you see that, that hill, that two hill, that's, that's part, that's part of the 400 hectare property. And on the left, leftmost side, that road construction there, that's still part of the 400 hectare property. Portion of the 400 hectare property is part of the road frontage of that Zambales Tarlac road. So once that thoroughfare is developed, that Zambales Tarlac road, definitely that portion of that 400 hectare property will appreciate or more or less double in value. But what one thing we are sure of, definitely it will appreciate. Whenever a property is along the roadside or near to a to a main place or a marketplace town centers those properties gets higher value so here is the bird's eye view of the 400 hectare property you can see how vast this area is if we get difficulty on touring you on the 100 hectare property what more difficult and challenges we are facing on this 400 hectare property right here in Botolan Zambales only here on Zambales Realty you know <laughs> I always like to modulate my voice because when I was uh, younger I dreamed of being a host or a, a voiceover actor on, on commercials yeah I, I I can recall when I was a kid I fondly I always I always mimic the voices of the voiceover like in ABS-CBN or in Jack TV here at Jack TV something like that anyway enough with that commercial going back to the property so we are here this is the 400 hectare property and part of that is this tree is these two hills one on the right and another one on the right and portion of that Zambales Tarlac Road perhaps the foot of that mountain Again, this property has its land title, but as part of the buying process, if you are to buy a property, make sure before buying that you have conducted your own due diligence. Well, how is that? You, you will go to the Registry of Deeds to verify the papers yourself. Verify it yourself. No one can better testify the accuracy of this um, this data that we are saying or the documents the papers unless you do it yourself and also so, so that concludes our property tour the, th those two mountains behind me are part of the 407 hectare property plus portion of that mountain with with some balistar lack road so once again this is Darren Shanava and don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel Zambales Realty for more properties to come So it was a soaring hit on the field. I felt dehydrated. You know, it's about 37, 38 degrees Celsius midday. So be, be, before leaving the property, we buy some dried shrimps from the caretaker of this 400 hectare property. I salute this caretaker of this 400 hectare property being able to guard the property itself and to guard the boundaries 
that's a massive one so we also get some dayap that's like a citrus fruit a seasoning also for for pancit so we are now heading again to the 100 hectare property where we will discuss some things and perhaps have some snacks and refreshments of course so bye bye for now 400 hectare property those are the mountains that is that are part of the property that measures 400 hectare property and also i would like to thank all my team here at zimbalas realty for making this possible so this is not an individual work you see we are crossing the river again again and again and again so for those interested buyers so you, you you know what to expect you know what type of vehicle you must bring because and the type of vehicle is not only a four wheels it must be a four by four vehicle because the terrain here is challenging and water can be deep as as high as two feet or three feet during flood days or during rainy season but it's a hell of a fun adventure and a new experience for me as the one involved in the business of real estate so let's just enjoy the process when doing this kind of business and for those applic or i'm sorry and for those interested buyers corporations and all please 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 a lot a whole day for the shipping because going preparing for the property itself preparing to go for the property itself it took us about one or two hours and then going to the property it's about 45 minutes to one hour estimated estimated only when the weather is good and then, and then also when doing the property tour when doing the property viewing it would not take you i'm telling you guys it would not take you two or three hours to check the property especially when verifying or checking the boundaries so we're no we're done doing a property tour so we are now heading heading to our base camp at camp kainumayan and then it's, it's about it's about 2 30 p.m still about to cross this river And if you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe button and follow us on Facebook and on our YouTube channel so you'll never miss properties like this. This is Darren Shanava, your host, signing off. Ciao! Are you selling your property? 
get it featured on our channel. Send us videos of your property at darrenchanava at gmail.com. Let's get it sold. We make buyer and sellers meet. Don't forget to subscribe for more properties.